Hey everyone, Mr. E here with another Tinkercad tutorial and in this one we're going to make a domino effect simulation using Tinkercad SimLab. Now if you haven't gotten started with SimLab yet, I recommend you check out my other video just to see how SimLab works. But in this one we're going to create this awesome domino effect. Now the first thing we need to do is to create our domino and don't judge me, I am not making a whole set of dominoes, I'm just going to make one and copy and paste it a bunch of times. Now, two important things. The first is that we make sure our shape is balanced. So I just use the align tool to make sure that this bar is in the middle and that these two circles are evenly balanced on either side. I'm just gonna group this together and then set it back to being multicolor. And we can rotate our domino and I'm gonna stand it up on our work plane. Now, let's launch SimLab. Now, by default, every item is set to be dynamic, so this guy's ready to move, and also our material set to be plastic, which is perfect for a domino. So I press play, and it falls over. And the reason is, if I just reset this here, we can see that our little circle and line is hanging off the front, which means that the front weighs a little bit more than the back. So when I press play, this actually falls over. Now there are a couple ways to fix this. You could of course design the domino to be slightly different where the shapes are cutting in rather than extruding out. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ungroup this, open up my align tool and I'm just going to center all my shapes. So we can see that my center bar and my circles are now perfectly centered on front and back, which perhaps is a little bit less accurate in terms of real world dominoes but it's gonna work really well for our simulation. So if I go back into SimLab with my two-sided domino, I press play, and this does not fall over until I click and throw something at it, which is perfect. So now what we need to do is create our domino chain. So I'm going to adjust my work plane to be much, much, much larger. So I'm gonna to go to 1,000 millimeters by 1,000 millimeters. I'm going to just minimize my side panel and your best friend for this project is the duplicate tool. So the duplicate tool will allow you to replicate and copy and paste all motions. So here's what I mean. I have my first domino right here. I'm going to click on my domino, press this duplicate key, which is also control D and I'm going to move it and I'm holding shift down while I move to make sure that it stays perfectly in a single axis. So I just drag this nearly 30 millimeters apart like so. When I press duplicate again, not only does it copy it, it also copies the move. So that allows me to make many dominoes evenly spaced, super, super simple. Here's the other cool thing. Let's say on this one, I go and I drag it to rotate it a couple degrees. When I press duplicate, it's now gonna move and rotate. So you can allow the duplicate tool to not only copy and paste, but also replicate motion. And I'm just gonna work through this. Now here's the catch. If you deselect something, so let's say for example, I click away. When I go and click on this, if I hit duplicate, it, it canceled it out. So I now need to again manually, oops, not that. I need to manually duplicate, move, do everything I'd like to do. So I'm gonna move and straighten for this one. A little bit and then I can start my duplicate chain again. Time to cue a duplicate montage. Okay, so I've made my domino chain here and I'm not sure if it's gonna work here at the end. I kinda got a little close with all my dominoes, but I wanted them to pretty much start and end in the same spot. So let's launch SimLab and now I need to trigger this and it's super important that I trigger it in the correct direction. So I'm gonna get myself squared up with my simulation here, perfectly lined up with my first domino and I click and I missed. and that did not go well. Let's try again. We get nice and close, starting my simulation, clicking right at the top of my domino. There we go. Yes, domino chain. Look at it go. Oh no, 
One of my dominoes slid into another domino. Okay, now here's where it gets interesting. What if I make everything, so I'm gonna select all of my shapes, a slightly higher density, so that way they don't slide across the work plane so much. Let's try something like, I don't know, steel might be a little much, but let's try it. Let's make all of these steel, okay? So my goal is that hopefully they fall and they don't slide around, let's see. Okay, it might be really hard to push over steel with a banana. Get a little bit closer. Yes, definitely less sliding. Oh no! So I need to go back to my drawing board here and spread my dominoes out a little bit to make sure that they don't knock each other over. But, pretty cool project. Overall, lots of problem solving, lots of troubleshooting. Fall over, there we go. Thanks for watching, folks. Stay tuned for more.